Hello, everybody. Hello. We're back. We're going to talk a little bit more today about things to do on the Disney Wish. Mm, I love the Disney Wish. It still Wish. feels like we're fresh back. We need yeah. to do more of these. So, today we're going to talk about the best things for couples to do on the Disney Wish. Oh. Because we're a couple. Our kid, like in our last video, we talked about things for bigger kids to do. Our daughter's nine. Yeah. So she's old enough that she really enjoys going and doing some of the kids' activities by herself, which means that when we're on the boat, we have some time, the two of us. To which is so what different do. than the parks. Because at the parks, you're all together all the time, unless you break up into smaller groups. But on the Wish, there's plenty of opportunities um, to break up into smaller groups because there's so much to do for kids and they let you drop off your kids in the kids club and it's fun for them and it's fun for couples yep. that have kids. So I made a little bit of a list of some of my favorite things. I did not prepare Celeste. She doesn't have a list, but. I'm just always ready. What's the first thing that comes to your mind as like favorite thing to do as a couple while on the wish? Things we did or things I want to do? Let's hear one of each. What's your favorite thing we did do? And what's one thing you wish we did? Okay, something I loved doing, you could do this at any point of the day, but for me, like the way the sun set on the boat, my favorite thing to do was after dinner. So like around like seven o'clock, my favorite thing is to go and get a drink. There's so many, so many cute, like adult bars. I know there's a better word to use, but they're basically they're bars. bars. Yeah. Um, and I love- Lounges. Lounges, that's the word. Um, I loved, on the Wish specifically, I loved um, the Nightingale's Lounge. That was so beautiful. And they had like a piano player and they do different things in there. Mm -hmm. I also really loved Tiana's um, Lounge. They didn't have, we didn't actually go there this time. We went there last time. Mm -hmm. And I think their drinks are cheaper at Tiana's Lounge than any of the more like niche enclosed. Um, not by a lot and not that that's the reason to go there like specifically. Their but cocktails are more like normal cocktails you'd find anywhere though. That's what it is, that's what I was gonna say, is I think that they they don't carry any like super specialty cocktails. Mm -hmm. And so it's a little bit like less expensive per cocktails, even normal cocktails. Um, but the ambiance in there is so fun because there are no walls. You're technically like people can just like walk by you, but you have like a cute little table and walk they have some cute- by you? Yeah, walk by you. Um, but they have like really cute tables. Um, there's I think two booths that are like circ like you know those like circles with the opening, and that would be such a great place for even just like a couple to sit for a little while and have mm -hmm. some drinks. And you can order beignets, which are so fun. Um, okay, wait, wait, wait. So to get a drink around the night time, like after dinner, mm -hmm. grab a drink and then head over to Luna Lounge and see what they're doing. That's like, honestly, I could do that every night because it's something different every night. Yep. So that's what I, oh, oh no, 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 that's what we did. That's what we did. Something mm -hmm. I would, and I, and I would do again. Something I would want to do that we didn't do that would be like more like adult is um, they have like a restaurant called Ashante and I always forget, they have Paolo? another one, Paolo. Yeah, yeah, because I was thinking about the Rose, but the Rose is another great like specialty drink place. Mm -hmm. We didn't go there this time, next time. Um, the Enchanted Rose, I think it's called, something like that. Oh yeah, the drink I want is called the Rose yeah. or something. I don't know. So we didn't go there. So we, I would want to go to either Paolo or Ashante. No preference, like I would just be happy to have a reservation at either. Mm -hmm. But I think that would be really, really fun because it is such like, a unique experience. And I've seen some videos of people eat there and everything looks like so tiny and yummy and it seems like a really fun thing to do on a date yes. and it would be fun to go there as a family but it would be like next level. I don't think level. kids are allowed in those restaurants. I think they're 18 and over. That's what it is. I would say too, so I have this on my list but again, our kid is nine. Mm -hmm. We love going to the family dinners that you're supposed to go to like where love you're it. assigned every night. It's one of our favorite love things. We talked a lot it. about that in the video about what we do with her. Yeah. I would imagine soon our daughter will be at the age where she would be more interested in maybe hanging out with friends or cousins or whoever they were there with during dinner time. And they could either order room service, they could do the buffet by themselves, depending, I don't know what the rules are for going to dinner. Maybe if there's depends. teenagers or something. I know a lot but of families go and like the kids are allowed to do like whatever ages, like even like the older families kids. Families with They're teenagers allowed to do, like, whatever seem they to want. go to the restaurants that you pay extra for, like Paolo and Enchante And lot. then they let their teenagers run around. Yes. But I think also a lot of people leave their teenage, let their teenagers 
do whatever they want all day. Mm -hmm. So they're like, you have to come to dinner to spend time with us. But I think it's just kind of like up to you. But I think when we get to that point where Lila's big enough that she can like be interested in doing stuff during dinner time more than going to dinner, then we're a hundred percent going to some of those restaurants. But I think it's only fun for her if she has a friend. Like if she brought a friend with her or like she had a cousin there. Sure. But I don't think But when think, you're like... teenagers you meet friends in the like <gasps> teen lounges and stuff. That's those kids are all running so around in posses. True. Those kids were so cute. Yes. So soon that'll be our kid. But yeah. we're not there yet. Not but there. that made my list as like a aspirational and some people watching this might have kids who are teenagers. Or maybe they're even going without kids and that's why they're watching this what to do as a couple on the there's a lot anyway, to do. A lot. So you touched on a couple of things on my list. One was the going to get drinks. And you proved a good point that in Tiana's Lounge, that's like, seems to be one of the more hopping places to go and grab a cocktail or a beer. It is hopping because there's no walls. So it's you kind of like right somebody bar, passing you through your living room mm-hmm. and then you there's like a bar sit, there. You, you can to. sit, you don't have to. But everything is less expensive for whatever reason. But... Some of our favorite drinks, because they're more of an experience, were the ones in those other lounges where it is a little more expensive because you're getting something more specialty. Absolutely. Like at Nightingale's, one of the things we really wanted to do was get the the bird butt drink. I don't remember what it's called, but it's served in a glass that's shaped like a bird. Okay, it's called the Nightingale. And they put a straw in its butt. So and you drink and it. And a little um, mint leaf. Like it's it's really cute. So and cute. then I got a great cocktail there too. I don't remember yeah, what you it was. It had, a, it had a sphere ice cube that had liquid in it. And you had to break it with a little hammer they gave you. It was rad. So, so that was super fun. Both times that we've been on The Wish, we've gone to Hyperspace Lounge. Yeah. And gotten fun drinks in there. So fun. Because Hyperspace Lounge is like the most immersive Star Wars experience. I would say... Maybe period. Ever? Like, com- I mean, Ever? In, in the parks when you're like on Rise of the Resistance, it's super immersive. Okay. Well, they have but, a place where you can like sleep in Star Wars now. I've never been there. But it, like it's as immersive as anywhere you can go in the parks in Star Wars land. It's super immersive. It's really well It's done. not like Star Wars themed. It's Star Wars immerse. Yes. And the drinks are all super wild and funky and Star so Wars-y. Fun. And so that's super fun. Yeah. Um... I wouldn't want to like go there every night. That wouldn't be like my favorite spot to get a drink just to drink. But I feel like if you're on the wish and you don't go to Hyperspace Lounge, you have to go. Once. If you like Star Wars at all, like you're yeah. missing out. Um, but Nightingales and Hyperspace Lounge were highlights, I think, for us. Mm-hmm. And there's a bunch of other ones. There's Triton's, Triton's Lounge. Lounge. And then Triton's there's Lounge that it doesn't place. serve drinks though. That's no, just it's the just lounge. it's just the lounge. But then there's Keg literally. and Compass, which That's is more of a beer focused place. And who is Keg and Compass? What's the theme in there? It's just like. Somebody trying to find their way to the keg. Keg and compass. It's reminding me of... It's kind of nautical, Nordic. I don't know. Is it like... Is it frozen? Because it's like Norwegian. I don't, I don't, think know. So. I don't know. It's cool. It's very nice. Um, I'm going to find out right after this video. Somebody and then tell me is the keg comments. and compass the one that at night also you can order food? You can order food all day. So it's keg like and pub. compass is like the only one. They serve like pub food. And you they have their own menu. menu. And I think some things are unique to keg and compass and some mm-hmm. things aren't. And they also, oh, here's a little tip. Yeah, tell them a tip, babe. I have a little tip. Every bar, lounge, whatever we call, whatever we're calling them, everywhere that serves you alcohol that's like adult only, they each have a different like bar snack. Mm-hmm. And True. I think that that is so interesting. So at Star Wars Lounge, they're these like little gummy candies and they're supposed to be like a little bit unique cause like Star Wars. Yeah, and different. so it's kind of funny because um, normally it's something salty, but at Star Wars Lounge, it's like special little like cup like thingies. razzle dazzle candies. Yeah, there's like two different candies and they're like, I would call them razzle dazzles, but they're little like, they're little like gummy oh, candies. And it's almost like tiny little nerds or like tiny little sprinkles like attached to them. And they're like chewy and crunchy, but they're really sweet. So my favorite part of having like a pretzel is you're kind of like counteract, like you're, it's kind of like a different profile. Mm-hmm. So it's Star Wars Lens. Um, there's no salty There's note. no salty note. So then anyway, that's not like a pro or a con. It's just what they have. Yeah. And then at Nightingale's, it's like a really fun like Chex mix. Um, and then they also had, oh, and at Star Wars, there's little pieces of dried fruit. So it's kind of funny because it's Mm -hmm. like two sweet things. It's like really, really sweet candy. And then there's like pieces of like cut up dried apricot and like little dried fruits. 
Okay, and then at Nightingale's, they had three different things. I forget what they all were except for, I think they also had like some sort of dried fruit mm -hmm. and then like a savory bar snack. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I, oh, that would actually be such a fun game because I'm kind of like listy like that. It would be fun to get like one drink at each place and then see what their bar snack was. Who has the best bar snack? Yeah, I want to see who has, that's what we're going to do for the next cruise. We'll do a top, we're going to do top, top bar specialty snacks. cocktail and a top bar snack. That would be fun. I really liked at Nightingale that savory Chex Mix yeah, thing. And really I think good. Keg and Compass has, if not the same one, it's comparable. Mm -hmm. I just love like, yeah, there's a more traditional give me some bar snacks, peanuts, I think. you know? So another thing worth mentioning about these like, all of the places where you can go and get an alcoholic beverage. Um, if you are not done with your beverage and you want to go oh, like to one brand. of the shows, then if it's in a specialty glass that you're not supposed to take out of there, you can let the server or the bartender know and they'll switch it to a glass you can take anywhere, like yeah. half done. They don't have to make you know. Yeah, like they'll the, switch the it. bird butt cup or We like, did that. We weren't done uh -huh, and we wanted to catch done. a show. And so we had them pour it out of the bird butt cup and into a regular glass, yeah. and then we took it to Luna Lounge. Because we only had like 30 minutes between what we were, like to, to go to the bar. And so that was really nice of them, and they're really chill about it. And if you have one of the like generic glasses that everybody has, which I think all the cocktails come in at Tiana's Lounge, I could mm -hmm. be wrong, I could be wrong. I don't really know that much about Tiana's Lounge. And so um, those, they just go all around the boat, so it doesn't really matter what happens to those. Right. So I think that's really nice if you have like, if you go to Star Wars Lounge and you have like a really fancy drink, but then you're like, oh, I want to catch this. I think that's yeah. really cool that they Which do that. Which is part of the fun of drinking on a cruise too, is like you can take your drink yeah. anywhere. Um, like there's literally. not really places that are like off limits to walk around with a drink. So that's a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay, so that's probably enough about drinking. Oh, and people are gonna I think we're alcoholics. No, we're not, we're not alcoholics, just, just a cruise. And so um, um, we had a bottle of champagne delivered to our room when we got there. And I that was- we're alcoholics. <laughs> and no, it was a gift. And so that was so, so fun because it came with champagne glasses and we had the bottle of champagne and you have a little refrigerator in it there. It was Prosecco, let's be clear. In case oh, people yeah, yeah, expect yeah, yeah. champagne if they get like some VIP thing. It was, it was Prosecco. Prosecco. If that makes a difference it's to you. Prosecco. I'm sure you could purchase champagne on the boat. Probably. But I think it was mostly Prosecco You also, everywhere. we didn't do this, evidence that we're not alcoholics, but you're allowed to, in your carry-on bag, bring two bottles of wine per person with a carry-on bag. That's of legal drinking oh, age. Oh, wow. So we That's didn't exercise that ability, but you yeah. can. So if you want to have like champagne in your room or something, you could bring a whole bottle of champagne. Like two bottles of like Prosecco sure. or Sure, and then you could put it in your mini <gasps> fridge and you could drink it at your leisure. And if you wanted to bring those to dinner, I looked at the rules of this beforehand. Because That's a separate I was video. Curious. It's just like how to save money drinking on but the cruise. If you bring it to dinner and you want them to open it and pour it for you, oh, no, then no, no, there's you a bottle to... charge for them to, or a corking fee or something where they open it for you and they serve it to you. And so you pay, it's like less than it would cost to buy Could a bottle from them. Could you imagine like bringing, like we live in California and we had to fly to Florida. Could you imagine like in the suitcase packing like a really fancy bottle of wine? No, but I could imagine in Florida, oh, since like we stopping. had time in Orlando, oh. you'd stop into a liquor store or wherever in Florida would be good to buy a good bottle oh of champagne. Gosh. And then you, you pack imagine? it in your backpack. No, but could you imagine taking it to dinner and being like, that I can't imagine. I, I can do imagine that. taking it in for sure. I can imagine bringing a glass of it to dinner and finishing it, but I wouldn't That's bring it did. to dinner and fine. have them pour it for me. I love that. But you that could. So. Maybe if it was really special to you, like if you're proposing sure. and you're like, "This is my." <gasps> I, maybe That's actually really if sweet. you went to like one of the fancier restaurants Aww. and you're having a real special night, yeah, you bring a nice bottle of champagne, so, some bouffe well, or something. You could buy one there too. True. Yeah. Anyway, love, Enough love about that. Alcohol. Love that. Well, it's, an, it's the adult one. It we got to yeah. get it all out of our system all on right. this video. So let's talk a little bit about the shows themselves because okay. you mentioned the shows at Luna Lounge. There's shows at Luna Lounge, at Triton Lounge. Few different places. The ones at Luna Lounge were definitely our favorite. I feel mm -hmm. like that's where they put the bangers. And like the most adult. Yep. Some of the time. Sometimes there were actually kid things happening in there. You have to look at the schedule. Yes, but, but the adult shows were at adult night. It was enough. mostly adult. Like yeah. if it's after the like main performance of the evening in yeah. the big theater, then pretty much always they were adult shows. Just like in real life. Mm -hmm. Like after hours. Yes. So what was your favorite show we saw at Luna Lounge? Oh, we probably have the same favorite one. Um, just like the one where they made all the couples go up there. Yeah. Yeah, that was super fun. Yeah, they did one where it was like, how well do you know your significant other? Yeah. And I think it was married couples. No. 
Was there one who wasn't married? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, there was one who was dating. There was one who was kind of newly Newly-wed. wed. There was one who's been married like 10 years and there was one who had been married like 25 or 30 years. Um, but they picked people out of the audience to get started. There was no tenure. Everybody was tenure that was left in the audience basically. Because there were three couples. No, there were four. For I sure. believe you. Not positive now that I'm looking back on it. Anyway, it was hilarious she because was drunk. <laughs> just joking. <laughs> this is gonna be terrible. And so joking. they were asking. It's one. It's okay. Very personal questions. While one of the spouses or significant others. <gasps> it was others so cute. Yeah, they had like one of the spouses, just like whoever was sitting on the right. So, like for some people, it was the husband. It's a pretty common like wife. relationship yeah. game. But it was so cute though. The they way did they a great facilitated job. it. Yeah, they the were hilarious. There, it was hilarious. And there was like, there was many things they did throughout the night as well, but that yeah. was just one example. I think There's it was lots just entertaining. Of trivia. So if you're mm-hmm. like, Trivia's and so it's fun. by like categories or movies or genres or yeah. music. Decades. Like you could do like Star Wars trivia, 90s trivia. Disney trivia, and then you get a little medal if your team wins. Yeah. Super cute. And some of those I've are kid won. friendly. Other ones are definitely adult focused, and yeah. they're not supposed to bring kids to. So, um, it's true. Yeah, I think for us that was actually the most common time. Every evening, pretty much, we put Lila in the kids club. Mm-hmm. That was kind of her favorite time to be there, anyways. Yeah, it's when the most kids were there. Pretty mm-hmm. and that's when we would go and like grab a drink yeah. and go to a show. And sometimes we'd run like we ran all the way up to the deck at one point and yeah. got pizza and thinking. brought that down to Luna Lounge. And so we had our drinks on the and second pizza. floor. If you're on the first floor, there's nowhere to hide food. You can have a drink, but you can't. I don't really think like... they'd preclude you from bringing it in. But I it's... don't think they'd preclude you either. But like no one's really eating there. Yeah. It's not like a up on the no balcony one's eating. But if if you're on the, the balcony, move. you have um, like a little bar that yep. you're sitting at. And, and so the pizza from in the, like that deck 11 uh-huh. or outside, not in the buffet, like the Goofy's Pizza place. I think it's Goofy for his, or is his the burgers? Whatever one is the pizza one. Their pizzas are great. And they're just like cranking yeah, them so out fun. there. Grab a slice or two. Yeah. Taking Yummy. that down to watch a show with a drink is like. So good. The move. Um. Okay, so shows are super fun. There's fun, like, bars and lounges, that type of thing to do. There's an adults-only deck, like a pool. So honestly, 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 I would, in the future, go on a Disney cruise alone just so that we could sit on the adults-only deck because it is so nice there's a whole section of the boat that's literally adults only 24 hours a day Mm -hmm. and you have your own like coffee shop Mm -hmm. and there are no special treats in there i did check because on the wonder their adults only coffee bar also had like pastries that were free that were like part of the cruise one on the wish is called cove cafe yeah and but anyway if you're looking looking for like little num num they do not have num nums anywhere on the adults only deck but it is you're a close walk to soft serve you could you are really you could grab stuff from the buffet and bring it right up i know i'm just saying like there's something special like because on other ships there are like on but the wonder has, there's specifically it has a coffee like, shop and it has a bar back there at the back oh yeah the cove bar i think it's coffee called. and at the coffee shop there's like kombucha and all the other cute drinks like different teas or whatever and then the kombucha there yeah, the Health Aid. I think they had the apple flavor, the one I'm least crazy about. I didn't know that. But I, I mean, I would drink it. Like, I just, I was least crazy about it. Um, they have, they have that, like, pink lady apple flavor. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's, like, $6 or something. So, anyway, whatever. Um, but this they have the bottles. a video about kombucha. I mean, it's adults. So, oh. um, so I would, I do love that. I think bring a book, yeah. bring a hat, and, like, honestly, I could just sit there all day. Unless I needed food, then you yeah. have to leave. It's got its own but hot I could tub. Just drink all day. It's got little pools that you can get in that like are super shallow, so you're not getting totally wet, but you're just relaxing. There's, There's like, an like infinity waterfall pool elements. with clear glass, so mm. you could be like laying on the edge, looking of, over the back of the boat. Over the back of the boat, and so you could just be like laying there, and then um, you can like be watching. It's gorgeous. The boat go out at sea. It's actually quite serene. Yep. I love it. And the, the lounge chairs are so much nicer. They're made of like a different material than the rest of the lounge chairs on the deck. Mm-hmm. And so like the ones for the adults, you can tell they're like a lot nicer. And there's also like, anyway, it's just really cool. It's it feels quieter. very it's beautiful. The second you walk through the gate, you're just like, where yes. am I? It's so nice. So mm-hmm. 
not only is there an adults only part of the ship, like we just mentioned, that whole like deck area, but also on Castaway Key, Castaway Key, whatever you would say. How we meant to check it out there. this time. And we, oh, I we wanted to so bad, but we were busy. On Castaway Key, there's the, the whole adults only the section. kids club thing is happening there too. So you can drop off your kids and they've got fun, like more beach style activities mm -hmm. where the kids are hanging out and they're like digging up whale bones yeah, and all kinds of crazy stuff. Really there's like fun. activities going on. So it's fun. And it's not just not, child They care. can't go in the water. I think they have a water element for the children. Right. But when you first go in, it's, it's kind of like on, the it's away from the beach. So you don't have to worry about that. And it's on the right. And they have like a splash pad, but mm -hmm. like, I mean, it's all very safe and cute. Um, so we did see the kids area, mm -hmm. just like a little bit of it. But if but, you take advantage of that, you can yeah. go to, there's an adults only beach. I want to go. Okay. And wanna there's, go. it's got its own bar up there where you can order drinks. Mm -hmm. We're really talking about and drinks And I think their own food. Yeah, I think food. the I same know. food I, as you get. Oh, it's the same food, but I just mean like, you don't have to, cause it's like, it's like a hop, skip and a jump. You know what I mean? It's so further up the island. It's yeah. like, yeah, like in, like there's a tram and there's two stops. So like stop one is like everybody. And then stop two is adults only. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, it's nice to know that you don't have to leave the adults only to get food. Or it's nice to know like before you go in, like if I'm hungry, I'm pretty confident they do serve the same food. I think there, it's yeah. the same. I've heard that. Which the food on Castaway Cay is awesome. There's burgers and hot dogs and ribs and chicken. It's like barbecue, and, like, like out back yeah, barbecue. Yeah, and there's corn on the cob and corn, corn muffins cob. and mm -hmm. chips and yeah. bunch of stuff. On Castaway Cay, I don't know why this is a thing, but they have like the cutest like mini bags of like Doritos and Lay's. Mm -hmm. And I think it has something to do with the island because on the boat, they don't have like right. mini bags of Doritos, but on Castaway Key, they do. Mm -hmm. And so and they're all complimentary. that's super cute and they're complimentary. So even if you're like grabbing a drink, it'd be cute to like grab a bag of chips, you a little can. savory. And yeah, the okay. only thing not complimentary on Castaway Key is specialty drinks, just mm -hmm. like on the boat. So yeah, and, and there's a fruit stand that's not adult, but like there's a fruit stand on Castaway Cay. It's mm -hmm. I love. Them. Yep. And, and there's soft, soft serve, serve, which is also included. And they have four flavors on Castaway Cay, yeah. which is super at least both cool. times we've been there, it's been. Well, yeah, anything can happen. Yeah. So there's that. But no restaurants. There's that. Oh, I want to talk, yeah, talk about the spa. Yeah, talk about spa. I want to talk about the spa. We actually, I didn't go this time, but we were busy. We did other things, new experiences. Mm -hmm. There is a spot. Next time we need more nights on the boat. I think we should just like probably spend a whole month on the boat and then maybe two. Maybe two. And so they have. Then I'll really know. Yeah. I'll have. I'll, I'll. We'll do it for learning. I'll. I'll it's know an by then. Academic pursuit. Absolutely. I want an honorary wish doctor. doctorate. Yeah. yeah. So okay. So on in the spa, it's so beautiful. I think the spa is called like the senses. Mm -hmm. mm. Senses spa. So beautiful. So the entire spa is adults only and it's absolutely amazing. They obviously have services and a wide range of services. They have like mm -hmm. massage, facial that you would expect. And then they have nail care, of course, but then they also have like things you wouldn't expect. Um, you could take a look at the menu and decide for yourself. But what I wanted to talk to you about was the actual spa amenity, the facility. the facility. The facility is absolutely stunning. And if you do not have a service, so like get whatever service you want, look at the menu, whatever you like, but you could also, and I, I would do this for us if we were doing like a more adulty thing, mm -hmm. or if like Lila like was a little bit like more into spending the whole day more away from us or whatever. Um, I would love to do this. Thank you. You can buy like a spa day pass. And so you can just use the amenities. And there's another set of like outdoor sections similar mm -hmm. to the adults only, but it's like, okay, like think about how much narrower it gets. So you're on this giant boat and then you go to like adults only. So it's like, and then you go to the adults only in the spa and it's like, so there's like nobody there other than the people in the spa and it's yeah. adults only. So like imagine the peace and quiet you can get and the facility is absolutely stunning and there's yeah. so many things to do. Hot tubs and cool showers. It's insane. And like, bring your book, bring your big hat, bring your There's probably like a steam room or a sauna. I there is. Guess. So the first time we went, I got to go you into the it. spa. Yeah. I got to tour it with, um, that was super, super fun. And um, everything wasn't enough. Lana and I walked through too, because they were yeah. doing a tour because it was the inaugural. That's and right. And so we got to walk through and it was like stunning. It was so beautiful. They have steam rooms, they have saunas, they have like cold steam rooms. They have these like amazing, like I'm gonna call them rain chairs. That's probably wrong, but that's what I think they are. They're like these like tiled chairs. They're so beautiful. Chaise lounge. And then you sit in it like a lounge chair and there's just like water running and it's 
insane. Yeah. Um, and there's that also like jacuzzis. I don't think there's like a lap pool, but there might like be like a normal temperature yeah. pool. And it was, it's just, it's absolutely so beautiful, so relaxing. You could just like forget where you are. Yeah. Really if Lila online. gets independent enough that she would like a big bulk of the day to herself, I a would do that. A couple hours. But or if your kid just like, I mean like it's our kid's always with pass. us like 100% of the time unless she's at school. And so we are just very sensitive to like leaving her. But I know a lot more parents are like not as... Well, and she gets bigger. It's easier and easier. That's true. But I mean, I'm saying like other people could have a nine-year-old and they could be absolutely, like totally. both parties, like the kid and the parent could be more used to leaving them for like longer stretches of mm -hmm. time. Or if you're um, there with a bigger group and it's like, oh, today she's yes. hanging out with her cousins and her aunt and uncle and yeah. they're doing something Pro specific. Pro tip, bring so. grandparents. Yeah. Um, just kidding. Um, so yeah, there's a, lot, fun there's a lot of stuff to do, a lot of things to, a lot of snacks. I think for adults only... I Not all of these things are it. adults only per se that you would do as a couple, but like most of the things we had the most fun as a couple were the things where it was adults only inherently. Because otherwise, yeah. like it feels different to be away different. from your kid having time together and then there's like a bunch of kids around. Yeah. And it's like, well, why didn't like, we just bring our For our, kid? our first Valentine's Day after we had Lila, we had like, I think it was either my mom or... Jake's it was my mom. mom. It was yeah. your mom. Uh, one of one of yeah. Jake's mom watched Lila, and then we went to a restaurant. It was like a, it was Benny like Benny Hanna. It was our first Valentine's Day, and we were like, we I don't think we like ever left her, or if we did, it was like very briefly. And we were like, let's have a night to ourselves, like really, like it's supposed to be special, right? It's Valentine's yeah. Day, and then we got sat at a table, at a that, table was all that was literally <laughs> like a mom and dad, and like they brought all of their children, and their children were like all like just young and loud and rambunctious. rambunctious and i was only bothered because i was like i should have just brought my kid like what the heck so it's just nice to know i think there's places if you're to like, go on the boat where yeah. you can get away from that element of it because yeah. that's fun for most of the day because but... then it kind of feels like you're more like on a date because i yes. hate doing family things and then missing out on like i hate feeling like I could be having family time right now. And then I have that like, not like guilt, but it's like, oh, like, dang it. Like, I wish she was just here. So yeah. I think when you do adults only things, it's like such a different like environment for yeah. everybody. I'll say too, I, for a long time, this is gonna sound critical if you're someone who would be considering this, but I'm gonna turn it around in a second. I was critical of people who wanted to go on a Disney Cruise Line cruise without children. He was, yeah. I didn't really understand it because there's so many other cruise lines. Why would you go on one that's packed with kids if you're going by yourself? But the Disney Wish is such a nice boat. It's an immaculate I mean, boat. Even it's an the immaculate other one we've been on. Experience. Like, it's, it's so nice so that nice. I could see we both like we do days at Disneyland, just the two of us now too. And it's a fun place for us to go thing. and spend time yeah. together. And I think if we did it, the two of us, we would do it so differently so than we do as a family trip. So differently, like start to finish. But it would, like, be, it would be such epic. Yeah, it, it would be, be great. So I'm finally at the point where I'm like, oh, if we went on a cruise, just the two of us, and it was a Disney cruise, yeah. I'd have so much fun and it would be way different. And it would which feel is cool. so different too than going, because we went with our daughter and my sister and her husband and their mm -hmm. two kids. So we were like a party of seven and we got rooms next to each other. Yep. So we and did we like seated for meals together. Yeah, we so we like, it was very like familial, both mm -hmm. like there was three kids and then like we were doing kid friendly things. And if we took the kids to kids club, they were together. Mm -hmm. But then also there was an element of like, oh my gosh, if we did this without the kids, like this is what we would be doing yeah. right now. And so it's just, it's an interesting to well, have It's rad that both. the boat is like diverse enough in its offerings that it can achieve yes. either one. Because yeah, like so we stayed recently at the Grand Californian, just the two of us. And then we did it a so week beautiful. later with Lila with us. Yeah. And both two were different amazing, experiences. two like, very different, Well, I guess right? not one was better and worse. I'm just mean like apples and oranges, like very so different. different. If we were the two of us on The Wish and it was couples only, like just us as a couple, yeah. we would have a more relaxing, easygoing time where yes. we'd spend a lot more time just like sitting and enjoying the adult deck, 
yeah. getting into pools and like there would be no rush to anything and then in the Our evening it would be like, be like we'll like go to so shows different. and like mm-hmm. it would be very relaxing yeah as a family cruise ship it's super fun and yeah. there's like stuff to do and it's like you so can stay well busy all day and you can relax too mm-hmm. a little bit along the way but not like we would if it was just the two of us so which i think is like just generally true and there's like, plenty of room for both you on go. the boat but i think that both what's interesting about like the cruise we just did is specifically we went to dinner and then we all dropped the kids off at kids crew at the kids club thingy after the main show. after the main show and so we did genuinely get to experience both on the same ship mm-hmm. which is something you can't experience in the parks but again like well, no one's comparing the parks to the cruise ship they're like totally different but it's yeah. so unique about the cruise that the kids are having as much fun during their time away as the adults are having and so mm-hmm. it was so nice to even just like for like health to like break apart all together like we were a group of seven so it's like okay we're gonna go off and we're gonna go do our own thing and that's like mm-hmm. so relaxing and so fun like so relaxing and so fun and then my sister and her husband went off and they did a different date and then all the kids were together and so i love the how many things there are to do no matter what like your family or your party looks like yeah super cool okay anything else we need to say about the probably adults portion probably but. things to do as couples there's a lot i think yeah if you're going just as a couple this would maybe be like a starting point <laughs> mm-hmm. like these things are things you should probably do because we really love them but i'm sure there's even more yeah. that if we were just there the two of us we'd have a way i more would do a lot experience. more sitting if we went yeah. the two of us maybe I would this do a is lot more video like for sitting down like, if you're looking for advice it's probably more for like other parents who will have a balance like us where it's like mm-hmm. we did both <laughs> yeah. we had the time with the kids doing full family stuff and then we had times where we broke away and did couple stuff yeah. i think that's what our balance and there's is both, at which at is like point. the whole truth yeah we can definitely do both so, so anyway, fun hopefully it's helpful yeah let us know if you have any questions and she will answer no you'll answer that'd probably be her yeah probably we'll see mm. <laughs> all right thanks for watching guys see you on the next one